I'm Jeremy Shuck, and I am the husband of Ashley and the father of five kids, 13, 12, 11, eight, and three years old. And I have the privilege and honor and joy of co-pastoring alongside my wife, Upper Room Frisco. There's this time we took all of our kids to um, uh, this beach house. We had this elaborate, beautiful, extravagant vacation gifted to us because, you know, we're like pastors and it's not like we have a, a beach house in a gated community on the shores of Mexico, Puerto Vallarta. So anyway, we're, we take our, at this time, we just have four kids. We, we haven't had our fifth yet. And it's, um, it's a house so nice. It's in a gated community where like wealthy and famous people have their vacation homes and there's guards and, and our house actually has a staff. There's cooks and maids. And we, I mean, the, the Lord hooked it up. We were just blessed with this vacation. And with four kids, um, all I was thinking about was just sleeping as much as possible and just resting and waking up to breakfast that was already made and fresh squeezed juice and rolling into the pool, laying in the sun and then hitting repeat, you know, day after day. I'm just going to sleep in, eat good and lay by the pool. Um, <clears throat> but the, uh, the first night that we're there, maybe it's the second night, I, um, I'm, I wake up before the sun and the reason I wake up is because I am, I feel like I'm possessed by this thought of a scorpion. And it's as if I can see it. Um, like it's, it's just, in, um, it's been incepted into my mind and I can't escape the idea of this scorpion and it's, I'm compelled out of bed. And I think, well, I might as well check my kids' rooms for scorpions, even though this is a really nice house that's continually cleaned. And, um, and I go into uh, my oldest, where my oldest daughter is sleeping and I sneak in the room because I don't want to wake her up. And I see her favorite t-shirt by her bed. And Evelyn at this time is seven or eight years old. She's this skinny little 45 pound little princess. And, um, and that, that shirt, is the type of shirt she wears several days in a row. And I can tell her plan it was just to put it on the next morning because she's asleep in, in bed with, with just pajama bottoms on and her favorite shirt's on the floor. And so I, I pick it up and nothing happens. And then I shake it and out of the shirt falls this full grown angry scorpion. And it is not happy about being disturbed and it's, tail is jutting around and this stabby pokey monster from Sheol is, <laughs> is wandering around in, in, in circles just stabbing at any you know, threat that it perceives and I'm just filled with adrenaline and I, I, I like grab a cup to like trap it and, um, and, I'm, and, I, and as soon as, 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 once I know that it's trapped, I start searching you know, other places in the house. I, I go through all the kids' rooms, and and that's the only scorpion that that I find. Thank God. But I, I put it in a, in a Tupperware bin, and I'm certainly not going back to sleep at this point. Um, and I don't want to anyway. I, I go out by the pool, you know, as the sun is rising, and I begin to praise Jesus, and I'm thanking Him for waking me up and and I because Evelyn that my my precious daughter who's so tiny could have been stung on the face the torso I mean the the pain and fear and potential life threatening situation that could have you know happened to her she was saved because God spoke to me woke me up and I was also really thankful that I went to a school that trained me not to ignore those moments, like when, when God speaks, because you know, probably any normal person would have just thought, excused it as an intrusive thought that needs to be pushed away so they can go back to sleep. But because I went to a school that trained me to be aware of those moments and as just assume that that's God and go with it, <laughs> 
I potentially saved my daughter's life. And that when all my kids woke up, I showed them the scorpion and I told them the story. And to this day, Evelyn, who's now um, 12 years old, she tells the story of how God and her daddy saved her from the scorpion.